Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today we're sculpting this strange wizard gnome. This is from a beginner's perspective so I won't be going through the basic interface and I'm assuming some knowledge from the brushes from my previous videos on the playlist. So make sure you've checked out the playlists in the description for the complete beginner's guide to Blender. You can also go to my website gabbit.co.uk which has all my free courses in order. If you like sculpting then check out my sculpting playlist and it has more follow along type tutorials like this. Also if you like what I do then you can check out my new character course. It takes you right from nothing through to making a great game character. Okay so I'm in the basic startup scene and I'm going to do this slightly differently this time by creating a base mesh first out of separate objects and sculpting from there. It's probably easiest with an icosphere so I'll delete the default cube, shift A to add mesh icosphere and let's come around to front view, G to grab and this is going to be the hat. I'm going to duplicate this for the body, shift D, so it's got a body there, shift D to duplicate for the feet, scale those ones down, and just scale these things accordingly at the moment. Let's just come around to side view and make sure they're scaled correctly there as well. So the feet are gonna go all the way across the bottom like this, and a nice tall hat like this. Okay, very rough at the moment, don't worry too much about the detail. Might copy one of these, Shift D, and just think about where the nose is going to go. Probably somewhere around there. And one more of these, Shift D, just thinking about the moustache. Seems very simplistic at the moment. And you can see I've got an error message across the bottom here because I've scaled my object. So let's go back to layout mode, select everything, and Control A to set the scale. So I won't get any error messages and the sculpting will act as I expect. Okay, so with one selected, into sculpt mode and I'm going to go up to edit and turn off lock object modes that way I can alt left click on different objects and select them whatever I select it will go to the previous mode that it was already in so in this case it's sculpt mode in this case it's object mode so if I change this now to sculpt mode and go between these two you can see that it's changing the object because it's sculpting on this one now and then alt left click and sculpt on this one but when I change over to this one is still in object mode. So you need to change everything to sculpt mode and then you'll be able to alt left click and choose different objects. Okay, so quickly back to layout mode. This one here and this one here, so I can actually mirror them around the middle object. So I'll delete both these two and go across to my spanner, add modifier, mirror, and choose as my mirror object, this middle icosphere. The same for this one, I can actually shift left click on these and control L and duplicate the modifier. So it's across the other side. Now anything I do on this side will repeat on the other. Okay, so let's go back to sculpting. I'm going to alt left click on my hat. Control tab is the quick way to get to sculpt mode. It brings up this pie menu and sculpt mode down at the bottom here. I can now turn on Dyn Topo. Don't worry about the warning message, that's about UV maps. And I'll change this to constant detail. Nice and basic resolution at the moment. If I use my pipette, and pick this, let's see what that resolution is, it's really really low for constant detail this is so changing it to about 5 is probably going to be about right let's do a bit of drawing, that's great so really I just want to use my snake hook tool and just put these into the rough position and shape of my funny wizard so just pulling this around into a tall sort of hat I'll make it come right down at the back there I think so just getting that rough shape around the other objects. Shift to smooth of course, using my snake hook tool to pull that topology around. And remember the snake hook tool will add topology, the grab tool however will just move the topology that you've already got there. So you must use the snake hook tool for this. Okay let's click on the nose. It's tricky to know which icosphere it is so what I do is I come around to the side so I know it's the only one that I've got over my mouse. If I come around this way and choose one, there's three different objects that it could be. So come around to the side and select it. Change that one to sculpt mode and start moving it about. Ah, now turn on Dine Topper, of course. Just double check that it's on the resolution you want and move that one into position. Now it's worth pointing out that mirror's already turned on. So just doing a sort of nose there. Alt left click on the next, turn Dyn Topo on, get rid of that warning, 
Ah, now I've made a mistake there, which I'll keep in, but you can't actually sculpt with the mirror. It disables it as soon as you go into Dine Topo. So I'll undo those steps, and I'll go back to layout mode quickly. And I'm going to apply my modifier, so the drop down menu here now and apply, and the same for this one, drop down menu and apply. Now when I go across the sculpt mode and choose with Alt left click this object, Control tab to go to sculpting, now it should start mirroring. <laughs> but I've made another mistake, so I'll undo that. And go back to layout mode. The object origin is in the center of this object which I mirrored, so let's right click, set origin to geometry, and that should go in the middle. Same for this one. Because I've clicked on it, it's turned to sculpt mode, so let's control tab, object mode, and right click origin to geometry and again it's in the middle so back to sculpt mode alt left click on this and hopefully this time oh if I choose the right object alt left click on this control tab sculpt mode let's make that moustache finally <laughs> let's turn Dine Topo on as well I want that to probably come over his shoes like this lovely job shoes next alt left click Turn Dine Topo on, and let's start moving these around. Probably won't do too much at the back, because I'm going to give him some sort of cloak coming down here, I think. I haven't completely decided on exactly what he's going to look like. Somewhere around there. Alt left click on the middle now, and let's start sorting this one out. Oh, Dine Topo. So some sort of beard coming down here, coming back for his mouth there. Big cheekbones, covering up his eyes, and then some sort of cloak coming down here. Probably have a dent in here where the cloak kind of overtakes the cheeks. Let's pull that out slightly. Okay, so we've got the very basics of our wizard character. He's leaning forwards a lot at the moment, so we'll modify the shoes to come out a bit more. It's a bit better. A little bit further. I really should name my objects, it'll be much easier to find them. Okay, so now it's just a case of adding the detail to each of these sections, and this is where the fun bit comes in. So we can change our Dine Topo to something like 15, and let's start working on the hat. I'll come across to my draw tool this time, make the brush a little bit smaller, and think about the rim of the hat. So it's got a bit more bulk, like so, and then use the crease brush and create some creases in here, just sort of creasing over the top. And then hold down control if you want to pull out topology. I'll use the draw for that though. So it's got some sort of crease coming down here. Okay, so I just realized the Dine Topo wasn't on. Not sure why it turned off then actually. So 15. There we go, that's better. I was wondering to myself why on earth it was so blocky. Okay, back to the crease brush. I'm going to make a sort of hard edge around here for the edge of his cap like that. So holding down control with the crease brush will bring it together and create these hard edges. In, combina in combination with the smooth brush, so holding down shift, Okay, let's think about the nose. So once again, just double check the Dine Topo's on. It might be because I'm changing resolution between the two that it turns off, but on, we're on 15. So start off around the nostrils there, and give him a nice sort of front to his nose. Dig in if you have to, by holding down control. It's a very simple nose at the moment. But it can be very basic on this, because it's kind of covered up by other things as well. And he can have quite a cartoony type nose anyway. Maybe the indication of some nostrils by digging in there. And we'll come back to this after we've worked on the moustache and things. So let's Alt left click on that. Make sure Dine Topo is on at 15. And start smoothing this out just a touch. Paint and smooth. 
You have to paint first, of course, because otherwise you won't have any of that extra topology from the Dyn Topo. Just getting the shape at the moment before I add any of the detail of the hair. So I think that's a good shape, but I'll work on the others first before adding any of that hair detail in case I have to move things around. Okay, let's go to the body now. And let's think about how we want this cloak to work at the back here. And that can come and rest on the floor slightly, so coming out slightly as you can see there. The cloak, in fact, could have been a separate object. As you can see there, it sort of separates from the main body, but it doesn't matter too much. Okay, simple cloak at the back there. Could actually be hair even. <laughs> okay, and then let's think about the cheeks. Nice round cheeks there. Might bring the hat down a touch more in a second. And then the beard at the bottom here. Make sure you're moving around your object quite a lot as well. You can get suddenly caught out when you go to the side and suddenly see it's not quite working as an object. I'm going to give him a little bottom lip there, I think. We'll see. I'm not so sure. No, we'll completely cover that up. Make it, keep it simple. Okay, onto the shoes, alt left click. Give them a bit more structure around the bottom. Flatten them out a touch. Rough at the moment. Keeping things fairly simple. Might use my grab brush here. Doesn't matter, it can be the snake hook or the grab, but the grab is actually slightly more responsive than the snake hook because it's not adding topology. So if your computer's a bit sluggish or anything like that, and you don't and you don't need to add topology, then use the grab brush. I might have this cloak coming back round to the front here, so I'll grab the cloak and just have that come round to the front a bit more. Let's give it that sort of wavy cloth feel. And I'll crease it a bit. Actually, I'm using the grab brush, aren't I, instead of the snake hook, so I should have been using that because I wanted to add some topology this time. So I'm just going to sort of create topology at the bottom as if the cloth is sort of falling on itself. Using the crease brush as well, just pull it down like this, and then we've got a bit of cloth. Okay, he's sort of working, so let's work on the actual shape of the beard and the moustache. So, alt left click with the crease brush still, digging in, just stylized at the moment, so nice big chunky sort of hair. Just check my resolution, I'm on 20 at the moment, it's still very low for a sculpt, and I might want to bring that up a bit more shortly. Let's do the same for the beard here. Okay, nice and simple, looks kind of fun though. Okay, so let's bring our Dine Topo up to about 70 and we'll start smoothing things around. Let's start with the hat. I might go to object mode with the hat and just G then Z, move it down just a touch more. I think that's a bit more of the style I want. I'll have to move the cheeks down a little bit, so I'll do that now. I'll click on my middle using the snake hook. Now see with the snake hook it's much less responsive for me because I've got a resolution of 70. So the grab brush would be a better brush here. Can you see when I smooth out how much more detail I've got? Okay, let's look at the nose. Using the simplify brush, just paint over it. And then with the draw brush, we can just see if there's anything we want to do with the shape. I quite like it, maybe just a bit thicker at the top. And perhaps the crease brush coming in there a bit, give them a bit more of a style. And let's do the nostrils. Probably a bit too far there, we'll just come in a bit more there. That's fine. Onto the middle and the cloak. Just brushing lightly over to change the form slightly and then we'll smooth out. Might have to use my simplify brush again to give that detail. That's good. Moustache now. Back to the Simplify brush. The Simplify brush is just adding that topology in to the areas where I need it. So the new Dine Topo of 70 is getting added. And then I'm just smoothing out. Let's use the draw brush, make sure it's nice and full in here. And back to the crease brush and add a bit more detail to these lines. We can also hold down Control to come out with the crease brush, the reverse crease as I call it. Got a nice silky moustache now. 
I feel like it needs a bit more of a point, so let's get the snake egg tool and let's just give him a bit more style to his moustache there. It's almost touching the floor. Let's actually make it touch the floor. So let's come to front view and see where the floor is going to be. I need to edit some of these as well. Choose the grab brush for that. Let's go to side view and let's start modifying it so it definitely sits on the floor. If you're 3D printing you'll want to be a bit more precise with this and you might even want to do a boolean object at the bottom here to sort of cut it off so it sits flat. Okay, seeing as I'm on the shoes, let's do the simplify brush again. Fill that in, smooth it out, let's see how we're looking. That's good. I think I'll use the crease brush around the base, holding down control, give it that structure. Just needs a bit more depth in here. It's not too important for me because like I say I'm not 3D printing. But if you are, you'll probably want to use a boolean here to flatten those out nice and properly. Now they don't look much like shoes at the moment, so I'm going to come in with the Draw Sharp, quite a small brush, and just create some soles. Just a little bit of smoothing there. And then with the crease brush again, hold down Control, sharpen that up. And just in with the grab brush here. Let's go to front view for that and tidy things up. There we go, he's looking pretty fun. Back on my central object and let's sort out the beard in here. Simplify, brush over, crease, smooth out a little bit first and then in with the crease brush. Holding down control if I want a sharper point. Okay, that's looking very uniform at the moment, and I'll turn the mirror off in just a moment and sort those out. Let's just go to the hat now with my higher resolution into sculpt mode. Let's get the simplify brush. I think what I might do, oh, turn Dyn Topo on first, and then let's do a detailed flood fill of 70. Be careful of doing this, you might want to save your work first in case your computer crashes. It'll save me drawing over the whole object with the simplify brush. It is starting to lag a little bit. They've moved the information about the mesh down the bottom here. I think it's under overlays now and statistics. We've got quite a lot of topology now in here. Something you must watch out for if you're on a slower computer. It's got a sort of very stylized hat. It looks a little bit silly really, but kind of having fun. Okay, so my character's looking fairly fun. I think, turn the symmetry off now. And then let's start moving it around. With the grab brush this time, I think that's important that you use the grab brush because it can lag a fair bit if you're not careful. Giving a bit of character now, just moving a few areas around. Smoothing out as well as I go, just in case there's any areas that need it. With the crease brush into these sort of areas to add a bit of variation now as well. I'm going to change the shoes really slightly. I think they're a bit too big, so I'll make this nice and big. Turn symmetry back on now. Just bring my beard out slightly over the shoes. Now on the shoes, let's bring those down really slightly as well. That's a bit more like it. Moustache just come in a little bit more. I'm going to use the snake hook tool here actually and just have his middle beard sit on the floor slightly. Turn symmetry off and then it'll go across the one side I think. Back to the crease brush. Sharpen this up in places. And there we go, cool little gnome wizard. So hopefully you're enjoying this series. Let me know if you've got any other ideas for sculpts and let me know how you get on. If you want to know about the texturing, it's fairly straightforward. So just give us a shout and I will produce a short video on that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.